And that's not to say that everything that I've put out there has worked. There's been lots of things I've put out that have completely flopped. <laughs> but I always say, this is, a, this is something I say to a lot of my friends. They always say, oh, you're always winning. You've got all these things going on and da 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 da. I say, yeah, but you know, for everything that you see that's a win, you know, I've had five losses behind the scenes that I haven't said anything about. So, yeah, you do get to see all the wins, but there's lots of things that I might put out, that I might try, that I might apply for, etc., that I don't get or nothing comes of it. It's just that I put out lots of hooks and every now and again, one of those hooks, you know, the bait that, that you know, someone takes the bait and it it, it, it flowers, it, become, it becomes something, but there's lots of hooks that I put out that just fizzle away into nothing, but that's business. How do you handle rejection? And I'll add to that, if you've had any things that you've tried, you've got the opportunity, but hasn't quite worked out. So failure, how do you handle both of those two things? And when you look at it from when you initially started to where you are right now and how you handle them? I can't tell you how I handled it in the beginning because I can't remember. <laughs> um, but I don't think anybody likes rejection. I think it's a natural human emotion to not like reje reje rejection. Who, you know, who wants to feel as though they haven't been chosen for whatever? I don't think that's a, I don't think that's unnatural to feel that. Um, how I handle rejection. I think in all different kinds of ways, sometimes it will just be, okay, you've just got to pick yourself up and carry on. Sometimes it might be you have a few set sulfur and Netflix days. Sometimes it might be, let me treat myself to, with me, it's trainers. Let me treat myself to some new trainers. What's your, what's your favorite one? I had to ask that and to interrupt you. What's your favorite? Oh, I, I'm a I'm a Puma person. I'm a Puma girl. Well, yeah, for real. Absolutely. Puma are the most amazing brand, underrated. Their trainers are so, um, their trainers are stylish. They have all different colors. They're a fantastic price. I've got about... I must have about 30 pairs of Pumas. Everybody knows me as a as Puma girl. Like, I only wear Pumas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they, they feed into my strategy of, of how, I, how I handle rejection. My, my friends will always laugh because every now and again, I'll just post a box of new Pumas. It's not a box. It's one of those boxes, you know, like those big Amazon ones that come. It's one of those boxes with about six, seven pairs in there. <laughs> So um, I also have a folder. Um, I have a folder where every time somebody um, comments or gives me some kind of feedback that I've helped them in something or that I'm a, I've inspired them with something, I've got a folder of those comments that is just all in one folder. And every now and again, I'll go through those co those comments. So I have lots of people that will say to me, oh, you've inspired me to do this or because of what you said, I went on to do such and such. And I've got that folder as well. Every now and again, when I'm feeling a bit a bit rubbish, I'll, I'll look through there as well. So I think I have, like anybody, different strategies of how I deal with that rejection. Um, also, sometimes that rejection spurs you on even more. I put a, a, a post on my um, Instagram a couple of days ago, and it said something like, the best motivation motivational words anyone ever gave me was, two words and that's you can't <laughs> and my response was watch me <laughs> i'ma show you <laughs> exactly that.